Consider these two sets of balls. When they are added, we will have a set of five balls. If we change the order of the addition, what will the result be then? We will still have a set of five balls. So the order in which the balls are added does not matter. The same is true for the addition of two rational numbers. If a over b and c over d are any two rational numbers, where b and d are not equal to zero, then a over b plus c over d is equal to c over d plus a over b. This is called the commutative property of rational numbers with respect to addition. Let us verify this with an example. 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is equal to 3 over 3, which can be simplified to 1. If we change the order in which the rational numbers are added, we still get the same result. So the commutative property holds true for the addition of rational numbers. But what about the other operations? Would the same also be true for subtraction, multiplication, and division? The commutative property does not work for subtraction. This can be easily shown with the help of this example. Since the left-hand side of the equation is not equal to the right-hand side, subtraction is not commutative. Consider these four rows of balls. If we change the way these balls are arranged, we will have eight balls. In other words, the order in which these numbers are multiplied does not matter. Similarly, the order of two rational numbers undergoing multiplication does not matter. If a over b and c over d are any two rational numbers, such that b and d are not equal to zero, then a over b times c over d is equal to c over d times a over b. This is called the commutative property of rational numbers with respect to multiplication. Consider the following numbers undergoing multiplication. 2 over 3 times 1 over 3 is equals to 2 over 9. If we switch these numbers so that 1 over 3 is multiplied by 2 over 3, we still get 2 over 9. So, the commutative property applies to the multiplication of rational numbers as well. However, division is not commutative. Note that in this example, the left-hand side of the equation is not equal to the right-hand side, which confirms our earlier statement. Now let us do a quick exercise. Verify the commutative property with respect to addition and multiplication for the given rational numbers. Let us solve the problem together. First, we will verify the commutative property with respect to addition by ensuring that the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this equation is the same. We will first solve the left-hand side of the equation. Since the denominators are not equal, an LCM of 5 and 2 is taken as follows. Next, the numerators of these two numbers are added, which results in 1 over 10 as the answer. We then perform the steps on the right-hand side of the equation and again get 1 over 10 as the answer. Since the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side, the commutative property with respect to addition of rational numbers is verified. Finally, we will verify the commutative property with respect to multiplication by ensuring that the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation is the same. 3 over 5 times minus 1 over 2 is equal to minus 3 over 10. Minus 1 over 2 times 3 over 5 is equal to minus 3 over 10. As the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side, the commutative property with respect to multiplication of rational numbers has, therefore, been verified. To summarize, 
the addition and multiplication of two rational numbers is commutative.